today's video we are going to replace some of the hydraulic fluid with a different fluid that will stop the jack popping sounds that we hear. It particularly happens the most when there's outside temperature changes from cool to warm or vice versa. This is the hydraulic bay in the basement. So we have one hydraulic system and these control the slides going in and out and the jacks going up and down. And very inconveniently in the back is a tank of hydraulic fluid. And what we've learned is you re replace a quart of that fluid with a different fluid that Lippert recommends. And somehow that treats the system and prevents the jack popping for possibly up to a year. But some people have to retreat after some period of time. So today we will, we will do this. It requires bringing the slides in, bringing the jacks up, get all the fluid back into this tank, and then pull a cord out and put a quarter of the other stuff back in, and then cycle the slides and jacks three times. One of the issues we have to think through as we replace the hydraulic fluid in the uh, hydraulic system is walking around and making sure that when we cycle the slides and the jacks, there's nothing going to get underneath them. I had a Starlink cord was an inch from the jack pad there on the left, so I pulled it far enough away that it doesn't somehow under, end up underneath. And then I realized that we put these rear jacks under the trailer recently purpose is as we bring the car in just to keep the table tra trailer more stable we felt like it was uh, not quite steady enough didn't feel dangerous just made some creaking noises and stuff which is probably normal but uh, we have these jacks that we use for getting the car in and out when it's not when the trailer's not attached to the motorhome so we just put them underneath and what I discovered a few minutes ago was that with the car in there they've settled down firmly the trailer is firmly on the tops of the jacks to where i can't pull them out so i have to get the car out to relieve a little bit of that pressure so we can get those removed otherwise when we when we uh raise and lower the house that could put strain on these jacks on the trailer or on the hitch uh, by having so many pieces in place still well, unfortunately, we did not manage to set up the camera and tripod before we dove into the actual work on this, so we didn't capture footage. It was uh, challenging to uh, not make a mess and stay cognizant of what we were doing. It took both of us the entire time handling this. The, this final photo here it shows the, the bottle on the right of the fluid we added. The two Mountain Dew bottles show the fluid we extracted and that we'll take to a, a recycling center. And then the hand uh, pump that we used. One note on the hand pump, they do indicate with an arrow which way it flows. So pay attention to the, the flow uh, indicator on that. But it worked really well. Uh, it went faster than I expected. We just put one end of the, that pump hose into the tank and pumped uh, a quart out into those two bottles and then uh, reversed that and pumped from the black bottle of fluid back into that tank. Then we cycled all th all the slides and the jacks three times each and re-leveled. And it's been almost, uh, I don't know, 36 hours, 42 hours or so since we completed that. And we've had zero jack popping. So I can give this a two thumbs up as, as a good piece of maintenance to do if you're experiencing that sound. And uh, it, it really worked.